Hey Air Signs, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your general reading for the week of February 24th through March 2nd. Keep in mind these are general readings. They cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you would like a personal reading, the link is always in the description box below. In case you're returning to the channel, thank you for joining me again today. And in case you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us and welcome. Um, I'm intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, that charges, balances, and aligns the energy for my reading today. So again, this reading is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song Tonight by Black Street. When I was listening to that song, I'm like, okay, what's the message for this? Because I, I, really, I wasn't really picking anything up strongly. And then immediately it hit me and it said, there's a sense of reminiscing. Somebody is reminiscing over you or you're reminiscing about somebody. And I feel like the memories are so, it just feels beautiful. It's a very fond, somebody has very fond memories of someone. I want to keep, I want to make you guys aware that we are still in Mercury retrograde. So you may be having people resurface from your past, or you may be thinking about, you know, reaching out and connecting with someone from your past. And I know a lot of people kind of joke about it and, Say things like, I, I, I lead the past on the past, but I don't know. Something about this energy makes me feel like it's not a negative thing if you and this person did reconnect. So let's find out what we have and what we pick up. As we, I'm going to hold it down so I can see the cards the same time that you see it. You have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Summon, Rising, Venus, Individual. But more than anything, this is somebody who's very stable. And I'm going to say also, not just love, I'm going to also talk about finances. If you are having a difficult time with your finances, I feel like you are finally coming into a place where you feel settled. Because you see how he's sitting there with his legs crossed. It's kind of hard for you guys to see the glare, you know, because there's I'm sitting right up under my light. But he's sitting there and he looks very comfortable. His legs are crossed. He looks secure. He looks comfortable. He looks fine in life. Also, I'm, I'm being drawn to this moon right here. Yesterday, we just had a new moon and a sign of Pisces. So I feel like if you did some type of manifestation work, some prayers, some rituals, meditations or whatever, trying to bring in finances, I feel like you guys are going to see about, you know, results about it really soon. I feel like it's going to be something that you really, really want. Okay. And I feel like with this, because you see how he's sitting on a throne that has a huge pinnacle as the back. I feel like it's going to be way more than you expected for it to be. So congratulations to you if that happens. As we part the deck, we have the devil card. A lot of you guys are dealing with fire signs, particularly Capricorn, because in tarot, the sign of um, Capricorn resonates with the devil card. And again, what, I'm, what I want you to notice is you see how this is a pinnacle, and you see that star back there, and then you see the star right behind the devil card. Some of you guys, I don't feel like this is a negative thing. I feel like a lot of you guys could be dealing with a, 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 a I was going to say a fire sign. I'm looking at the fire in the picture. A lot of you guys could be dealing with a earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Strong Capricorn energy. Um, if that's not the case for you guys, I feel like right next to the pinnacle card, maybe this is somebody, you may have someone coming in. If we're talking about love, you may have someone who comes in who you might be very passionate about, okay? Because I'm not picking this up as anything negative. I feel like there may be someone coming in who you are very passionate about. And I feel like you might not know this person. And I'm saying that because you see how he has this hood over his eyes, this cap over his eyes. You can't see who he is, what he looks like. It's like his identity is obscured. You don't know what this person looks like. You just know that this person is attractive to you because I feel like a strong sense of attraction. And this person may, may be very financially abundant, okay? Let's get two cards. We do two cards. Two cards. One is a general energy and one is a possible outcome. Look at that. And then you have the chariot card upright right next to the a, the king of pentacles. Now with the chariot, <laughs> and I'm looking at the card. You see how she's literally looking in the direction of the king of pentacles? She's moving forward because the chariot is about forward movement. This is also because I know a lot of people like to hear the signs. The sign is um, cancer is attached and associated with the chariot. But more than anything, this is about forward movement, right? And so far, since we've been looking and doing our shuffling, we've had two major icons. You had the devil card, and then you have the chariot now, right? So there, I feel like there's forward movement into something that's going to be very fulfilling. And I feel like, you see how she's looking in the direction of this king of pentacles? I really feel like strongly, like I said, at one point, you were the king of pentacles in reverse because your finances weren't where you wanted it to be. And she's moving out of that. 
And that's positive. And that's why she's looking at this King of Pentacles in reverse because at one point, I'm hearing that somebody feels like they're scared that they're gonna, they're gonna end up going back to this position of lack, right? Because the King, King of Pentacles upright is about extreme, you know, abundance, positivity, and being in your element, being grounded and being sure-footed on your financial journey, your life path, your, you know, your life as far as your monetary gains are. The king in reverse, if we're talking about money, this was somebody who may have been in debt because you're the, you in the king of debts. <laughs> so you may have really been in some type of debt, you know, and that, and that was very difficult for you. But you're coming out of it and you're moving into something positive. And then we have the lover's card. Now you have the the um chariot in reverse and then you have the lover's card. First of all, the lover's card is Gemini and Tarot, Gemini, Libra, I mean, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Doesn't just, it's not just limited to um Gemini because this is an air sign, all-inclusive reading. But I'm going to let you guys know with this coming up right next to this, the chariot in reverse is giving me an energy that... Again, I, I don't feel anything negative. I feel like, first of all, it ties back into that song, that dreamy energy. You guys want to go ahead and listen to that song. Usually I tell you to put it, I'm going to see if I could put it in the description box below. So check the description box below and see if I attached the link, if I was able to get the link to, you know, put into the description box for you guys. But I feel like there's this energy, like this magical energy when you think about this person but the chariot in reverse right next to it makes me feel like, and again, you have two major arcana, so you got a lot of major arcana energy. With this chariot in reverse, it gives me an energy that, because I feel like this is in the past, because in this hand, is giving me a past energy, right? It's giving me an energy that there was no forward movement with this person in the past, or there was no forward movement with a past love relationship, but something new is coming in for you guys. But I keep picking up an energy of somebody returning that's that's strongly what i pick up especially with that song i i really strongly feel like okay too many came out i really strongly feel like there's going to be some type of reconciliation i wouldn't be surprised if we pull a reconciliation card because i feel like this is somebody this isn't someone new too many fell out but i do want to acknowledge this card you have the ace of cups in reverse and then right up under it was the ten of swords yeah in the past i feel like you and this person because again, you have another major arcana. You know, I feel like you and this person, there was a lot of heartbreak between you and this person from the past. There was a lot of heartbreak. I'm telling you, I feel strongly for whoever this resonates with, this is something from the past. And there was a lot of heartbreak or someone felt stabbed in the back. I'm also hearing somebody felt abandoned. You guys have a lot. It's just, look at how many, it's just too many flipping out. But I know when I see it, it's meant for me to acknowledge it. Wait a minute. Okay. You have the Eight of Cups walking away, possibly. But I always say with this particular Eight of Cups, you don't see this person in motion. It's like they're looking at the moon. And you know the moon is about your intuition, um, things that are unseen, things that are unknown. I feel like somebody is looking for answers. Because you see, he's gazing off into the sun. I mean, into the moon. And it's making me really strongly think that somebody was... You know, it, it makes me think about that song again. Because it's like... Somebody's thinking about things of the past. You know, the moon is also about that nostalgic feeling, that feeling of like euphoria and kind of daydreaming. You know what I mean? And I feel like somebody's daydreaming about something from the past that they may have walked away from. The Eight of Cups walking away from something. It's a lot of underlying energies that are flying out. <laughs> I can't even get the main cards because it's a lot of things that, you know, the universe is telling me to address. Okay, one card. Look at that. And it came up right. You have the magician, another major arcana. You guys have a lot of arcana energy. Again, and this is also the card of Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, the Venus, individuals. You guys, I kept saying, like, somebody has some strong earth sign placements. Either you, and if you don't have an earth sign placement, you could be dealing with somebody from your past who had, you know, a strong earth sign placement. This person is manifesting back into your life. I know that. I can feel it. I'm hearing somebody may have a... a a Virgo sun, I mean a Virgo moon, because you see in the background, that's, that's not a sun behind him. It's some planet. It doesn't have to be the moon, but I know it's not the sun. So I don't feel like it's the, it could be a person with a Virgo sun sign, but I'm really feeling like this person has a moon, moon sign. And I also feel like that because you see the stars in the background, it, it gives me the energy of like a nighttime. Somebody may have a Virgo moon placement. Yep. Ooh. Two of cups. So your general energy is the magician. Your possible outcome is the two of cups. 
somebody is manifesting you back into their life. I feel that very strongly. Or you're manifesting somebody back into your life. If you have some strong Virgo placements, you're manifesting somebody back into your life and it's going to work out and it's going to be very positive. This is somebody who's going to be a life partner for you. Every time I see this particular two of cups, these two people are conjoined at the third eye chakra. It's like they can read each other's minds. They have a very powerful, intuitive, telepathic connection, you and this person. And that's why you're thinking about this person having these memories about them. Upright. Both of them are upright. And your main, and this is literally, I'm only doing four cards. Of the four cards, the first two are major arcana. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is you guys' energy towards, I mean, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Rise, and Venus individuals. I feel like, again, I feel like this is a past energy. I feel like you were in reverse because, first of all, I feel like there was a lack of communication between you and this person. As we part the deck so that we could shuffle, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, more Pentacles energy, right? You guys are dealing with somebody who has some strong earth sign placements. If it's not an earth sign, some, you know, either way it goes, somebody has some strong earth sign placements. And I feel like, because look at it, you have this queen of swords, you guys energy facing this earth, this nine of pentacles in reverse. But it, it's just giving me an energy, like, especially with this queen being in reverse, there was no communication with this person. And you see how the, the nine of pentacles, she's looking off in another direction. She's not even looking at this person because it's like, there was something that happened in the past that cut, something happened that made you to cut communication off. Also, the Nine of Pentacles is an independent woman. It doesn't have to be woman, woman, man, right? That's the person who's independent. I feel like with it being in reverse, you and this person may have cut contact because this person may have been in a relationship, no longer independent, right? Or you may have thought this person was in a relationship. I'm, I don't know. I'm not picking up a bad energy. I'm telling you, I don't feel a bad energy with this at all. I feel like there's going to be some type of communication. Now you have the Queen of Swords upright, right next to the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is about needing a balance. Somebody was being breadcrumbed. And I just said that I feel like maybe this person, you know, that, that Nine of Pentacles that we've seen was no longer independent. And as I just said, that I've seen 1222 on the clock. Since some of you guys want to go ahead and Google Angel number 1222 and look up the message of it because I feel like it's going to resonate with you guys today. Um, I feel like with this being upright, because the Queen of Swords is cutthroat. She's going to tell you how she feels about something, right? And this is you guys' energy. I am an air sign, so I know this energy all very well. I feel like somebody was cut off because they may have been entertaining another person at one point. Somebody was juggling because you see a scale there. And then you see one person is being given crumbs and the other is still waiting their turn. So there could have been some third party situation. And that may have been the cause of the breakup. Because I was thinking internally, like, what caused this breakup? So it could have been possibly the fact that there was multiple people involved. And I'm feeling strongly like that that has come to an end, especially with these two cards. That has come to an end. And then this person is coming in. You or this person. I, I don't know. I feel like it's somebody else. You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, clarifying the Magician. More Pentacle energy, right? And what I pick up from this, with the Page of Pentacles clarifying the Magician, I feel like, first of all, the Page of Pentacles is a small offer. This is something small. And we know the pages are the slowest moving in a deck period because they want something that's long lasting and stable right for the page of pentacles to be clarifying the magician i strongly feel like whatever this is is not going to be small whoever this is who's coming in or coming back it's not going to be small at all definitely not because the possible outcome is the two of cups it's not going to be anything small it flipped around but it didn't come up so you guys can only take the cards that pop out Ooh. You guys have cars jumping. It's a lot. It's a lot of messages. Some of you guys need to go ahead and get a personal message. I mean, a personal um reading. Okay. The judgment card in reverse. Okay. So I'm sorry, I'm being nosy. My nose, my neighbors are pulling up. So your general energy is the magician. Upright, clarified by the page of pentacles in reverse. First of all, pages and mess and pages and knights are messengers. So they come through with messages and communication. I strongly feel like I, I, they're gonna, somebody's going to come in with a message, period, point blank, but I don't feel like it's going to be something small. I feel like it's going to be something bigger than what it is that you initially thought it was. 
And clarifying, you have the two of cups upright as your possible outcome. And then in reverse is reconciliation card, the judgment card. I'm going to turn it upright so you can see it. So you can see the imagery from it. What I'm picking up with the judgment card in reverse is that there, it's like, what, I, what I'm feeling from this is that whoever thinks, okay, I'm feeling like with this clarifying this, somebody in this situation feels like they want to offer something, but they feel like it's going to be small and that it won't be accepted. Because with the judgment card, we know the judgment card is like a card of reconciliation, right? Like a coming back together, a call to action. Because you see how he's blowing a horn and it looks like these beings that look dead are being raised from the dead. I feel like somebody wants, because look at the cards together. Somebody is manifesting this, but they're afraid of this. They're afraid that the, whatever they offer is going to be seen as small and the person isn't going to accept it. That's what I'm picking up strongly. I really feel like that. And again, I'm going to say you guys have hella major arcana energy of four cards you have three of them are major arcanas these are your general energies and this is your clarifier energy this is coming in for you because major arcanas those are things that we don't the universe orchestrates those things and they push those things into action so this magician it could be you know another person but more than anything this is definitely spirit pushing this through and then making sure this happens because it's meant for you and this person to come together. But I feel like on a 3D level, on what we can control, somebody feels like, and, it, and I don't feel like it's you. If you don't have earth sign placements in your chart, I feel like it's this other person. They feel like whatever they're offering, they don't want it to be small. But they feel like it's going to be viewed as small, and then there, there won't be a reconciliation. And that may be why I'm picking up that song. Like, this person just... They're thinking about, because I, I feel like a strong energy of reminiscing, like this person is thinking about you in the past. And I feel like in the past, this is what they were offering you. They were offering you something small. And I feel like they're, they're thinking like, okay, in the past, this didn't work out. This It didn't move and go in the direction that I wanted it to. And I feel like there's not going to be a reconciliation with this person. But, you know, little do the both of you all know, the universe is orchestrating something extremely powerful and amazing. This is manifesting. This the magician has every single element at his discretion. Earth, air, fire, water. You know, there's no getting around that. Yep. This is this is something that's being manifested by the universe. And I know that this is going to be a very strong, you know, connection. And it's going to be a very emotional connection. There's and I'm hearing what I'm hearing is that. Okay, so also somebody may have, I feel like in this group, somebody is very intuitive and this person is trying to send you messages intuitively. You see how is this third eye chakra, this person is doing more. Mm hmm. Yep. Somebody is, is trying to communicate. I, I feel like this person knows that you can hear them or you guys know you have this telepathic type connection. That's all I'm saying. I don't feel like this is new. Because I just said the pages and knights in the decks are messengers. It's coming up in reverse. I feel like this person isn't verbally saying anything because they know that you can pick the pick up whatever messages between them intuitively. So this person is talking to you intuitively, I feel like. And I feel like a lot of you guys may not be picking it up because you're kind of in a state of disarray or distress because... Because they're not reaching out or you're not seeing it so far. But I'm, I feel strongly like a lot of you guys are getting ready to come into contact. There's going to be communication. Because even though the judgment card is in reverse, you still see this, this angel here blowing a horn. That's that's a sound to action. Reverse or not. You know, there's literally 78 cards in deck. And for all the cards, this to specifically to pop out, that's a message for you guys. And I feel like it's only in reverse because... Somebody is being fearful that whatever it is that they're going to offer is going to be seen as small. But the universe is orchestrating something that neither one of you have any control over. I mean, you have control how you respond to it, but with somebody's manifest, somebody wanted to manifest a person into their life and they're here. They're here. Definitely in the 5D, because if you look at it, they're in the cosmos, they're in the stars. So they're in the 5D, you two are already together. It just needs to manifest here in the physical plane. And I feel like it will very soon because this is major arcanas. You have three major arcanas here. So it's going to happen very soon because this, this is the universe pushing you guys together. And I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like there's a resistance. Like you don't, you or the person don't want to be with each other. I feel like there's just a fear 
that something is going to be seen as too small. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. Yeah, most definitely. Yep. Most definitely. Okay. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.